Welcome to the Seika booth here at Electronica. I'm joined by Luca Corley. Nice to see you again, Luca. It's nice to see you, Trevor. Yeah. It's always a pleasure. Right. You've got some very exciting stuff on the booth this week. Uh, you've got a, a virtual reality system behind us. Uh, tell us what's going on. Yes, we do. Uh, as an innovative company, Seika is simply trying to use the existing technology and to apply the technology that is available on the market to our environment. So basically, we are in a booth where normally there were machines, but there are no machines physically. There is a virtual reality experience of our machines, our testers, our selective soldering systems. Mm -hmm. So our customers can physically see uh, a virtual model uh, of the machine. They just need to put the glasses mm -hmm. like uh, you, you see uh, the person behind us and uh, they can interact with the machine, they can play, they can push the button, start uh, right. uh, the machine, uh, see the machine operating. They can also literally jump inside, walk inside, put the head inside and see how the machine is built and how it works from the internal perspective, not really? from the outside only. Without head injuries, of course. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah. But um, uh, no, that's really good. So, I mean, presumably they can then see your full model range uh, of, of, of machines, right? because obviously if you were bringing machines to this show, you'd maybe only be able to bring five or six. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, there is a lot of potential for this technology. First of all, of course, uh, in a show, we can bring more units, more models than uh, we are used to do normally, because we can have literally all the machines uh, uh, at the show. But this is not only the main uh, reason why we are approaching this technology. Mm -hmm. uh, another good uh, reason to do that uh, is use this technology for training. Yeah. So we can teach our customers, we can teach our uh, service engineers uh, around the world mm -hmm. on a new product without physically bringing the product uh, to them, mm -hmm. right? but showing them how it's built and literally show them how to manage mm -hmm. how to operate on the machine using the virtual reality uh, right. technology. Right. So a great training tool. What about customers that, because um, uh, you, you do a lot of customization. Uh, companies Correct. come to you looking for special solutions to, to fit their m manufacturing environment. Uh, how, can, how can this help with that? Uh, in fact, that's another application of this technology. Uh, as you said, we do a lot of customizations. We have a, a catalog of standard products, but every customer today wants something a little different, a little special to fulfill his need. Okay? So, up to now, we were used to do 3D models and show them uh, on a screen, on a normal screen of a PC, a 3D model of the solution we we're thinking to build for them. Mm -hmm. Now, a step ahead is to bring to them the virtual reality model so they can uh, see in 3D by uh, wearing the glasses how the solution we're thinking for them will look. They can physically measure size, dimensions, they can walk around. I mean, they can, yeah, they can have a real perception of what will be the, solu the final solution. That's a great idea. I mean, because then and then you're not having to do rework or, or change things after after you've exactly. manufactured it. They yeah. can see details that uh, typically are not, uh, let's say, evident uh, when you walk. You you look something on a paper, mm -hmm. but there because they can walk around, they can see from the bottom, from the top. Uh, they can immediately find something that can be corrected or can be built immediately, uh, good uh, for the first time. So do you, do you see this becoming a, a mainstream part of your, uh, your, your sales offering and, and this type of thing? Um, we see these as another tool, uh, another plus that Seika uh, uh, can add uh, uh, I mean to, to our offer uh, to anticipate the need or to cut uh, the lead time because today everybody speaks about time, you know, how fast you will be to give me something new. Mm -hmm we can minimize, uh, let's say, the time from the prototype uh, to the real product mm -hmm. by doing this type of simulations. Yes, yes, yes. Makes a lot of sense. Well, it's very exciting, Luca, uh, and uh, I had a, a demonstration of it myself earlier, and uh, I, I found it fascinating to Hopefully. be able to look around the whole factory. Yeah, it was, it was very good because, you know, you could not only see the machine, but as you went closer to each part of the machine, it gave you an explanation of what yep. the machine was doing, uh, what you were looking at and what you could change, etc. So and it's, you have audio as well that can help. Absolutely, it's very, it was very instructive. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for trying our experience. Okay, thank you for joining us today.